Hello everybody and welcome to another retro toy review. Haven't done one of these in a long time. Today we're stepping back in time, going back to 1994, when times were more simple and figures were fun. Back in the days when I was watching Power Rangers and Turtles, we had this nice little series called Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. This was an adaptation of the Denku Shoujin Gridman series. And I absolutely loved it. It was a fantastic program. The series starred Matthew Lawrence as Sam Collins, who was head of a band called Team Samurai. And basically during the recording, there was some sort of like electrical disturbance and he suddenly disappeared and came back and he had this thing glued to his wrist that we later learn is his digital communicator. Later on, the same electrical disturbance zaps one of his computer creations, Servo, blending the two. And basically, Sam enters this cyber world where he can battle the villains known as the Mega Viruses. Now, the program itself was everything that was good with 90s TV. It had a glam metal rock tune, there was electric guitars, and there was really bad CGI. <laughs> Standing approximately 8 inches tall, this is the lead character, Servo. And in a time where we had Power Rangers that was stiff and robust and didn't move, Servo was ahead of the times. With a nice rotating head, Upward shoulder movement, bicep swivel, curl at the bicep, rotation at the wrist, forwards motion, backwards motion, a little bit of outward, upper thigh rotation, bend at the knee, and bend at the ankle. See, I always loved this series because it was kind of like a mechanized human that combined with other giant robots, kind of like an upgraded version of Centurions. Now, Servo does come with some weapons. Here I have him with his uh, micro menacing saber and his megavirus monster deflector shield. They look very, very similar to the kind of weaponry we got with the Sectors line. And here he is with his cinch sword and his cinch sword in the shortened blade mode. Now, unfortunately, I did get this pre-owned and he is missing his digital communicator. He does have some sticker wear. This sticker's peeling back a bit. They're peeling back a bit on his shins as well. It's a shame, but this guy is over 20 years old and he just brings back so many memories. Now I'm assuming that when Playmates used this design from Gridman, it was meant to have a battery and sound function because there's a speaker section here. I'd imagine this dual section on the front would have been the button. And basically the battery section is still there, but it's non-functioning. <laughs> and I seem to have got a Autobot logo stuck to his leg. There we go, we're combining some franchises there, aren't we? Probably one of the weirdest size comparisons you will ever see. There's some dinosaurs. We've got Dick Tracy, He-Man, Murdoch, and of course, Servo himself. <laughs> here he is with MP10 Masterpiece Optimus Prime. And here he is with Drago and Zenon, his partners in crime. These are the two mechs that he can combine with. It's an awesome, awesome series. I'll get round to reviewing... Uh, Drago and Zenon in the next couple of weeks, but uh, am I the only person that used to watch this? Does anybody else remember it? And does anybody else remember it being as good as I do? I absolutely loved this series. It was different. I used to like watching Power Rangers, VR Troopers, Mask Rider, but this was one of my favourites. It really was. Let me know what you guys think. Give us a big thumbs up, like and subscribe and until next time, from myself and Servo, goodbye.